Hello students, welcome to Solve the Classes. In the series of oxidation reactions, we are discussing tempo oxidation today. And here the conversion is basically of an alcohol to an aldehyde. So alcohol will be giving its electrons or the hydride to this molecule leading to the formation of this one, which again is reoxidized by cerium. So this going there means this one getting reduced to that one okay so this going there means cerium getting reduced to, uh, ceric getting reduced to cerium okay from plus 3 plus 4 to plus 3 and then again this one is getting reoxidized to 4 by use of molecular oxygen so it is an excellent catalyst in conjunction with co-oxidants. So your co-oxidants is what? Obviously, the ceric ammonium nitrate. The most popular co-oxidant is the buffered sodium hypochlorite, that is NaOCl. Oxidation of the nitrosyl radical gives the oxoammonium ion, which acts as the cox oxidant for the alcohol to form the carbonyl product so this oxo ammonium ion is basically this one <coughs> primary alcohols are oxidized faster than secondary alcohols and it is often possible to obtain high chemoselectivity for the former so if we have been given for example oxidation of a triol so over here, these are the secondary alcoholic groups and this is the primary alcoholic groups. As we said, that selectively this one is oxidized. So we will have formation of aldehyde over here, but these will be remaining untouched. Again, tempo is particularly convenient for the oxidation of primary alcohols in carbohydrates avoiding the need for protection of the secondary alcohols so that is one important part again over here what will happen tempo is being used in presence of sodium chloride and hypochlorite and that leads to the formation of alpha hydroxyl carboxylic acids with high enantio selectivity Again, this is used. So what will happen over here? Oxidation will take place, right? And formation of acid will take place. So this acid will combine with that of which to give you this particular lactone. Next, tempo can be coupled with CuCl. And under aerobic conditions, primary and secondary alcohols can be converted to their corresponding aldehydes or ketones using the ionic liquid which is this one okay and interestingly there is no over oxidation to carboxylic acid okay so this is the good advantage point of it so tempo cucl oxygen and the ionic liquid basically a phrase transfer catalyst and so we will get the oxidation of the OH to aldehyde. This is the allylic, not allylic, this is a, yeah, this is allylic. So this will be converted to aldehyde. This also will be, the allylic alcohol will be converted to ketone, secondary alcoholic group converted to ketone now tempo can be absorbed on a polymer so we'll be calling this as polymer supported tempo and this can be used as a recyclable catalyst for the active and selective oxidation of primary aliphatic and benzylic alcohols to aldehydes by molecular oxygen in presence of cobalt or manganese nitrate as co-catalysts. So we have been given one example over here, a simple aliphatic alcohol. 
so volume of supported temper is there oxygen is there manganese nitrate and cobalt nitrate is there mild temperature we using and this gets converted to the aldehyde similar reaction can be thought of over here but instead of using nitrate we are using over here the copper trifluid in presence of bipyridine okay and over here we have the tempo solvent is acetonitrile getting converted to our aldehyde this is the benzyl alcohol part similar reagent and we can achieve the oxidation of the benzylic alcohol to benzyl dehyde moiety that will conclude the reactions using tempo oxidation keep visiting sorbsa classes for lectures on topics related to csr net gate exams